Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Brown with FlowTrack. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm going to give you guys a couple updates on some of the things in the web designer. I hope you guys will enjoy this. So the first thing is, if you go into site settings, you now have a couple more options on where you can add custom code. So before, you can only add custom code in the header, but now you can do it in the start of the body or the end of the body as well. So that's really good if you want to put like, you know, tags that load on the bottom of your page, like a Google conversion tag, Google Analytics, et cetera. And you can also switch it on and off. So if you have a tag that needs to be in a certain spot, then that's where you'll put it in, in one of these tabs. So that's really cool. The second thing I want to talk about is just a small little usability tweak. So uh, previously, our pop-ups, which is also our, our nav bar, right? So we have the custom nav bar. But the pop-ups, you had to click on the X to close it. And so now we made it so you can actually click on the background of the pop-up to close it. This is on your live site. So customers or visitors on your site, they can click behind the pop-up or around the pop-up to close it. So that's really cool enhancement. Now the other thing, it was a question I wanted to ask because I've been getting this a lot recently, but uh, people are asking, how did you rotate this image on the page, right? This, this is really cool. So we, this isn't Photoshop. We didn't Photoshop it like this or anything. This is just a rotated normal photo. And so we actually have this button in here. It's a little game pad. It says transform. If you click on this, um, you get a few different options, different white ways you can like style it or uh, transform it and rotate it. But if you click on the first one, transform, now it's hooked up to your mouse. So wherever you move your mouse, it's going to be transforming your image and kind of rotating it in a 3D space, which is really cool. So once you got the, the image exactly where you want, all you got to do is just click the mouse again, and now your image is locked in that spot. Now this is awesome for rotating like product images or you know anything else, and it actually doesn't even have to be an image, right? You can do this on a, a button. Uh, you can rotate, you know, anything actually in our in our website builder. So uh, you guys can come in here and start spinning things around. <laughs> just don't uh, just don't abuse it, right? <laughs> you don't want to have everything on your on your website too spinny, but it's up to you guys. <laughs> so, all right, well, that's all I got for you guys. So this is the updates uh, in this video, but I got more videos to come. So have a great day.